What is up, Janksters? It's your boy Graham, also known as HamHawks42 on the internet, and today we are looking at a Bant combo deck that has a red card as a finisher despite not having any red in its mana base. So this is a very weird deck and it makes me very, very happy. This is the kind of thing that I live for. It is a combo leveraging Halo Fountain as well as Clever Conjurer and or Kelpie Guide to produce some incredible value. Now, Clever Conjurer and Kelpie Guide are both capable of untapping another permanent you control. So they can untap the Halo Fountain and the Halo Fountain can untap them. As you can imagine, all we need is a little bit of mana, and all of a sudden, those two can just twiddle away to create all kinds of value, which is super duper fun. Now, how do we get that mana, you may ask? Well, we have another card in Accomplished Alchemist. Accomplished Alchemist is a... Uh, is an elf druid 2 5 for 4 from Strixhaven that says tap at X man of any one color where X is the amount of life you've gained this turn. So, with a little bit of life gain, this thing can tap for three or four mana pretty consistently. And if the value that we're getting off Halo Fountain is creating citizens and we have, say, oh, I don't know, a Lunark veteran in play, then we're gaining additional life, meaning that additional taps. Um, of the Accomplished Alchemists are actually tapping for more mana, all of which can be white to activate Halo Fountain. And with the Kelpie Guide and Halo Fountain down, we can be untapping both... Halo Fountain can be untapping both Kelpie Guide and the Accomplished Alchemist. We ta then tap both of them for a bunch of mana and to untap our Halo Fountain. Before the Kelpie Guide resolves, we untap, untap both of them with the Halo Fountain again, rinse, repeat, draw infinite cards, create infinite mana of any color. We do need a lot of it to be white in order to activate the Halo Fountain, but that's okay. Well, that won't be an issue. Um, and then... Once we've drawn infinite cards, one of them will inevitably be one of our copies of Light Up the Night. We tap the Accomplished Alchemist, naming red, dome our opponent for about 40 damage because that's the amount of life or the amount of mana that we have just sitting around. And you know what? The other thing that we can do is we can actually use the untap, uh, the, the first ability, the first untap ability of Halo Fountain to be creating citizen tokens and Kelpie Guide back and forth, again, twiddling forever to create citizen tokens. And then we can use those citizen tokens to activate the last ability of Halo Fountain as well as kind of an alternate or secondary win con. Uh, and I'll tell you right now, spoiler warning, I have pulled this off live on stream before. It can be done. It's difficult. It's convoluted. And it's super janky, but oh man, it is very satisfying once you get through all the clicks, because there are a lot of clicks. Just be aware of that. This is one of those. Um, yeah, so, but you may be wondering, wait a minute, once you've created 15 citizen tokens, or 12 citizen tokens plus a couple other creatures or whatever, um, how do you tap them in order to activate that last ability the same turn? That's where the Reckoner Bank Buster comes into play. Fun fact about crewing vehicles. You have to crew up to a certain number. There's nothing stopping you from crewing beyond that. So if you have 15 creatures lying around, you can tap all of them to crew a Reckoner Bank Buster. As a result, they're all tapped. You activate Halo Fountain to untap all of them. You win the game. It's beautiful. And in the meantime, <clears throat> as we're trying to assemble our combo pieces, Reckoner Bank Buster can be drawn as cards. Exactly what we want to be doing. Um, Prosperous Innkeeper is in here as another, uh, as a kind of a redundant Lunark Aspirant, which is nice. Or Lunark Aspirant, sorry, Lunark Veteran, um, which is pretty pretty solid. We also have Revitalize. This is a card that we can just churn through our deck quickly, and it's a way to kickstart our Accomplished Alchemist um, later in the game. So that's that's the idea behind Revitalize. And I have the pretty art, and I figured, hey, why not use it? Uh, we also have Jacob Hauken as a two of. You, if you are flipping Jacob Hawkins into Hawkins Insight, something has gone wrong. The main benefit of Jacob Hawkins is be, is being able to uh, draw and discard. That loot effect is very very important, and our graveyards are relevant anyway. So the fact that the looted away cards go to exile doesn't really matter for this deck. You may note that Light of the Night has flashback, but it's flashback based on loyalty, or, um, based on removing loyalty counters from Planeswalkers. You'll notice we don't have any Planeswalkers. So we're not flashing back Light Up the Night. If you wanted to replace Light Up the Night with Crackle with Power, that would be perfectly fine. But to be honest, the math making my brain go hurdy. So I was like, nah, let's keep it simple. Let's go X and Red. Um, so that was the uh, that was the idea there. I did use Crackle with Power in here initially. And I was like, nah, let's just go simple and go Light Up the Night. Um, anyway, 
this is super fun um i love this deck it's super janky it does not have a super high win rate in my hands at the moment i'm hoping that'll change today though um uh, and hopefully we can get some wins with it on the ladder this is a jank fun deck if you want to see some janky fun gameplay please stick around we are going to be getting into some games with it uh, also if you have these cards in your collection and you're looking for some janky fun gameplay i got you if you want to rank up on the ladder this is not this is not the deck for you your princess is in another castle but that's okay we're gonna we're gonna have some fun with bant combo fountain let's run this thing out and see what we can do also you can catch me live on stream twitch.tv slash hamhocks 42 i would love to see you out there and you can challenge me to build decks like this one um by using channel points which is a currency that you accrue just by hanging out and being part of the stream so if you have a crazy idea and you want to see if i can make it work don't hesitate to hit me up uh, if you want to see me b finally build obscura ascendancy Whew. um i mean please don't but if you if you got the channel points i'm gonna make it happen not promising it's gonna be good man that card is a dumpster fire but anyway um <laughs> but i'd be happy to give it a shot in any event i will catch you there but in the meantime let's get to some gameplay all right we are playing the combo fountain we have the kelpie guide the halo fountain the accomplished alchemist and three lands in our hand two of which are white this is a snap keep all day every day let's go all right we're gonna throw the planes into a lunark veteran that's a pretty good turn one making our opponent think we're on life gain hope they don't scoop because we're not actually on life gain i'm gonna drop the rabbit battery all right we're gonna take one here so they are on mono red aggro it looks like yeah down to the bugbear into rabbit battery this is looking like a, a mono red beat down situation which i'm not super enamored with but at the same time it's whatever it is what it is haha I wasn't gonna block with this little guy anyway. We're good. So next turn we can drop the Kelpie guy. The turn after that we can drop the Accomplished Alchemist. The turn after that we drop the Halo Fountain, and we are off to the freaking races. Assuming that we survive that long, we'll see. We'll see. Fortunately for us, the Kelpie guide and the Accomplished Alchemist have decent stats. That is very important. Very important. Thwack. All right. Come on, faces Kakazan, kind of a problem, especially if they drop the Shatter Skull Charger this turn. If they have their land drop a Shatter Skull Charger, we're going to be taking a lot to the face. That's one of those cards that doesn't see a lot of love, but it synergizes so beautifully with Kamana faces Kakazan. I'm not going to lie, I wouldn't even be mad if our opponent played that out because it's just, it works so well. Goro Goro to Cyber Veruzi, that's respectable. There's nothing wrong with that. 3-3 three, three that can grant itself haste right out the gate. All right. Are they going to attack with it? Sure. Welcome to my face. I got life gain for days, dog. It's cool. Don't even trip. All right, we're gonna drop the accomplished alchemist here. We're gonna gain one life. Not mad at that. I like gaining life. It makes me happy. Um, we just gotta leave our Kelpie guide up here, and we gotta leave our Lunark veteran intact. All right. So they still have five cards in hand. That is not necessarily where Mono Red wants their cards. Uh, but at the same time, those could be burn spells that could really wreck our day. I wouldn't like that. That would make me very sad. I don't like being sad. I like being happy. I like being joyous. I like being completely overjoyed um, with stuff. And that is hopefully what's about to happen here. I'm going to Royal Eruption my Kelpie Guide. Suck diddly yuck Flanders. We needed that. All right. Well, Clever Conjurer can do a do do a decent Kelpie Guide impersonation, but it's just not the same. All right, we're blocking Goro Goro. We're going to revitalize here first. Draw into a land. That's pretty rad. We're then going to drop the Clever Conjurer. -R -R -R. Gaining yet another life. This is going to be white mana dropping the Halo Fountain untapping said halo fountain to create a wee homie we are then going to also t make more white mana drop another halo fountain untap this creating yet another homie gaining us yet more life if only we had something to spend six men on 
it's so close. We're so close to the thing. But the clever conjurer doesn't have haste. Truly unfortunate. Truly, truly unfortunate. But we did gain a bunch of life there. We felt pretty good. Clever Conjurer is now live and online. So next turn, next turn, we'll be able to do some pretty great stuff, assuming our board survives. The chances of our board surviving completely unscathed, not great here. However, we these citizens can be beautiful chump blockers for us that can take a couple for the team and leave our combo untouched. So that's beautiful. Hopefully we get to do that. That said, they're running more burn. There's no way they're not. Goro Goro can, uh, they can create the dragons if they pay five, uh, which they currently only have four mana available, but if they have another one in their hand, they can drop it, swing, activate, create the dragons. Citizens take some for the team. Oh, they're going to shock in Shatter Skull, the hammer pass. We're actually going to double block Goro Goro, get him off the field. And because because they tapped, they tapped out there. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, so here's how we do this. This is how we do it. We're going to go ahead and activate the Clever Conjurer, targeting a Halo Fountain. Wait, Graham, you say, that Halo Fountain isn't currently tapped. Well, you'll notice we are in full control mode. That is very intentional. In response to that, we are going to pay one and untap our Clever Conjurer. That pre that produces a citizen. Then, our Clever Conjurer resolves, untapping our Halo Fountain. Ding, 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 ding. You will, uh, whoop, I almost screwed that up. You will see that is a pretty sweet little combo. And as we do that, our Accomplished Alchemist ticks up. Clickety-click, clickety-click. Let's go. Got to maintain full control. Don't mess this up, Ham. Don't mess. Don't you dare mess this up. All right. That is all the weight mana we have in our mana base. However, Kamish Alchemist. Oh, still full control. Just like that, we have infinite mana and infinite card draw. We've done it. We've done the thing. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. We're doing it. Again, almost screwing it up, left and right, and or center. I need to get faster at this. This is kind of unreasonable. All right. And we're drawing nothing but lands, but when we... Pff, holy cow! We're really drawing nothing but lands. All right. This land pocket that we are working through is kind of ridiculous. Bank Buster, okay, that's the thing. All right. All right, we can go out of full control mode. I think we got the win. Actually, by drawing the Reckoner Bank Buster, I know we have the win. So we have seven, eight, nine, ten creatures on board. This makes eleven.
Makes 12. Thirteen. Yeah, they scoop it up. They see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. It was so many clicks. So many clicks, but we assembled the combo, made it happen. Let's move on to the next game. I see a prosperous innkeeper, a Kelpie guide, and a clever conjurer along with the record or bank buster all in hand. Let's keep it. Seems D's. I'm not mad at it. So we can throw the Dream Root Cascade or the Overground Farmland on one, Prosperous and Keeper on two, Clever Conjurer on three. Just, you know, World Star Oyster life is good. All right, cool, cool, cool. I'll probably lead off with the Clever Conjurer if our opponent gives... Uh, they're on white. Interesting. Okay. In Keep, we also do the Spars Headquarters, which is not a bad hit. We can do good things with that. Not the least of which is just cycle it away if we really want to. So this next turn, actually, what we could do is play out the headquarters and then play out our own Reckoner Bank Buster to, uh, to kind of counter theirs, if you will. And our Prosper Scene Keeper, little Eddie here, can get in for one hit. All right, cool, cool, cool. I don't know, he just looks like an Eddie. I don't know, all jovial. Like, Eddies are usually jovial, right? Okay, anyway. They're going to play out another... Amuria Shattered Skyclave. Poor Skyclave. Hmm. We need Kelpie Guide to resolve. There's no question. 100% all day, every day. It just needs to happen. Uh, uh, let's actually, yeah, let's use the treasure to draw with Reckoner Bank Buster into an accomplished alchemist. Never didn't have it. All right, Eddie Beats. Let's go. Actually, uh, we play accomplished alchemist next turn. The turn after that, Halo Fountain comes down. I think we got the combo. Well, I mean, I know we have a combo. I just don't know if we have enough to pull it off. We have three white in our mana base. Like, ideally, we'd hit, like, a Revitalize. That would be huge. Doomscar, well, poop. That was actually a great hit by our opponent because those were very... Key. Well, yeah, I mean, actually, those were both key pieces to our combo. So, mildly distraught, a little miffed, and otherwise saddened. Accomplished Alchemist, this is one of the least threatening cards out there. I mean, who plays Accomplished Alchemist? Really? I mean, it's fine. It's a 2-5 for 4. What could possibly go wrong? For real. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? I don't know, maybe we throw a Halo Fountain and just create an army of citizens? Man, they are rocking the Amirius Calls. That mana base is not... For me, in a monocolor mana base, man, that is some... They got some mythic action going on over there. And they got the Field of Ruin, which is a big fat whatever. If they blow up as far as headquarters, we go grab a planes. Easy peasy. That's not even an issue. Yeah, so there was actually a mono-white mid-range list that has been making some moves in tournaments and i wonder if that's what they're playing also they do have the uh is that our, what's her name katore the the uh pilot prodigy sleeves very cool good stuff i'm trying to play the conjurer here does it resolve I'm going to draw off the bank buster because drawing cards is rad. I'm a big, big old fan. Oh, Lunar Veteran. That's pretty tasty. I'll take that. That's right. Tasty. I said it. They're looking. Yeah, I mean, these cards, I think most players, if you showed them the artwork to either of these cards and asked them to name it, they would be 0 and 2. I think the vast majority of players have no idea what these cards do. Because, one, Clever Conjurer isn't even a particularly good... I mean, it's an okay draft card, I guess. Like, it is a 2-3 three for 3 in blue, which is fine. And it can untap land, so it can ramp you. So, like, all right, it's not bad, but it's not great. Meanwhile, Accomplished Alchemist, who played this card? Like, I do. I play this card. I love this card. Let's go.
Actually, I know a couple of people who play this card. A couple other janksters who've been who've rocked rocked that card in the past, and I I've gotta say, mad respect. Absolutely love it. Lunarak Veteran. Into the Halo Fountain. Let's show what we're doing. Tip the hand. Here it is. This is what we got, opponent. All right. If I sequence this right, we should be golden. I really hope we're golden. Oh, I didn't quite get there. We didn't quite get there, but that's okay. But we're showing our we're showing a little bit of what we can do. We're showing off a, a skosh of what we can do. And actually, to be honest, I probably should have. Well, actually, wait a minute. Wait a tick. We can just do that. I was about to say we should have untapped the accomplished alchemist. I was like, oh, I can just do that right now. That way we can draw another card off the bank buster. It's not like it's not. We haven't assembled the infinite combo this turn, but we are getting some good value, and we're kind of showing our opponent what we're up to. So it's like, all right, opponent, this is it. Can you can you disrupt this? If the answer to that is no, you're kind of sunk. Oh, we haven't hit our land drop. That's nice. I like that. If I had another bank buster for good measure. Dope. All right. All right, opponent. Got another doom scar in there? Because now's the time to use it. If you've got it, rip it. If not... Uh, and fr frankly, we have another accomplished alchemist and a Kelpie guide in hand, so... If you don't have it, like, tough luck, dog. Don't want to tell you. If you do, fair enough. Good game. Maybe not good game, but, like... Coming in for the swing. That doesn't mean they don't have it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Because they are sitting on seven cards. They got a full grip. And five mana available. Five is the magic number. There it is. All right, fair enough. Dad gummit. All right. That is a bummer. Truly a bummer. If you got more removal, dog, like a martial other really light or something, you need to get rid of that Halo Fountain. <laughs> like, I'm gonna I'm give you that one for free. You need to get rid of that Halo Fountain. Um, I want to get the Alchemist moving again, but without a life gain engine, it's kind of doesn't really do much for us. I'm gonna play a Kelpie Guide and then flashback the Veteran as the Lumus Luminous Phantom. Um, now that is for, unfortunately, the Luminous Phantom is for leaving the battlefield, is where we, uh, where we get the benefit there, but eh, we do get an opportunity to crew and punch a little bit here, so, uh, I'm not mad at that. So, Bank Buster getting in for a little bit of damage. Not the end of the world. It's fine. I'm unimpressed, but... At the same time, I'm not super mad. Those doom scars were well placed. They were they were necessary. But at the same time, the deck has been able has gotten a chance to set up to a point where our opponent now knows how it works. Our opponent knows what they're up against. They know how it functions, um, and that's a bad spot to be in because well placed interaction can disrupt this deck. All right, they are really taking their time here. But they're hovering over cards, so they're clearly still in game. Whenever something like this happens, I just assume that... <laughs> I like to believe that they recognize my name and are seeing if I'm live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash hamhox42, uh, to see if they can see my hand. Uh, but, I mean, that might that that's kind of a silly thought. 
it's a fun one though. I like it. Um, to the point where sometimes when I'm live, I actually say hi to my opponents in, in chat. Uh, don't know if they're there or not. I'm assuming most of the time they're not, but every now and then maybe. <laughs> Righteous Valk, sure, gain that life. Go nuts. Get it. Get after it. Innkeeper, yes! That is 100% what we needed. Accomplish Alchemist, Kelpie Guide, Halo Fountain. It's here. It's happening. It's real. Let's go. All right. Let's just get a tiny skosh of value, just a little hint, a pinch of value, if you will. I'm going to go Wandering Emperor here. That's problematic. They're going to... Actually, Wandering Emperor killing our Kelpie Guide is kind of genius. Yeah, and we don't have the mana yet to un to use Halo Fountain to untap the Kelpie Guide and make it an illegal target. So that actually was a brilliant play by our opponent. Yeah. Not just, like, kind of good. That was a brilliant play by our opponent. I'm not mad at that at all. Mm, little bits of value. Just a little, little, again, a little sprinkle, a dash of value. All right. This is not what I came here to do, folks. But we're doing it. Bankbuster beats. This is like plan D, but you know what? Sometimes you just got a Bankbuster beat. Now, things could be a lot worse. We have the Clever Conjurer in hand. Our opponent still has six cards. Like, they have not played very many cards, and they're, they've drawn two off their Bankbuster. So, we're not in a great position here. They do have a reaction. They do, they do have time. They have the Legion Angel, of course. Yeah, we have no way to interact with that, so that just is what it is. Um, hmm. I can't. Next, there it is. Okay, good, good, good. So they're down to three manias. If they have a way to blow up the Halo Fountain, I'm going to be very sad. I'm going to be very sad because that's kind of our key engine except for the kind of part it is 100 percent our key engine without a shadow of a doubt i'm chipping for a little bit of damage sure go nuts i'm not blocking that i ain't blocking squat opponent and you can't make me all right another veteran so we can gain crazy life love gaining crazy life let's go Conjurer R R R. Gonna gain some life here. Ching ching ching. Feels good, dogs. Feels freaking good. We are gonna go ahead and tap. How much alchemist? And a couple of our homies to crew this reckoner bank buster, and then we are going to untap. Our accomplished alchemist and our clever conjurer it doesn't really matter for the halo found to draw some cards another accomplished alchemist not mad at that um Another accomplished alchemist hitting the field. Let us go. All right, Bankbuster beats. And at this point, the Bankbuster beatdown is more geared towards keeping their life total away from that magical 27. Because with Rites of Valkyrie on the line, if they hit 27 life, then they just, all their creatures get buffed to high heaven. And I want to prevent that. I want to prevent high heaven buffing. All right, so the Reckoner Bankbuster is going to be stepping in front of one of these Bankbusters, probably the one with the three counters left on it. 
Um, that's the one I'd block in this situation. No, they're gonna Fateful Absence it instead. All right, fair enough. Gives me the ability to draw a card here, so I'm not mad at that. And with the double accomplished alchemist down, we can make an absurd amount of mana, which makes me very happy. I like making absurd mana. Now, do you block? I mean, you crude. Like, you kind of committed to this. All right, fair enough. Losing the losing both of our bank busters is problematic. Now, we do happen to have another one in hand, so it's fine. Like, so next turn, if we pop the combo, um, if we are successful in popping the combo next turn, we can get the Halo Fountain victory or Light at the Night victory. Either way, we can make it happen. Um, we can get the Halo Fountain victory if we can get the Bank Buster online. They're going to play out another Righteous Valkyrie. That's going to gain them all the life, all of it, uh, which is not great. I don't love that. And another Legion Angel. Actually, to be honest, the fact that they're not interacting with our board right now, that's primo. I'll take it. Because they can have all the life in the world. With the Halo Fountain, don't matter. Um, no blocks, come on in, welcome to my face. I need to gain life during a turn. I don't really care what my life totally is. That's kind of irrelevant. All right, cool, cool, cool. So, goes like this, and like that, and like this. And, uh... Ding, ding. Goody, goody. Cliver Conjure untaps. We then use the Accomplished Alchemist to untap both of these homies. Ching, ching. Uh, Clever Conjure untaps Halo Fountain. Halo Fountain untaps Clever Conjurer. This is going to gain us some more life. I like that. Clever Conjurer untaps Halo Fountain. Halo Fountain untaps Clever Conjurer. How many critters are we sitting on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We already have ten? Woo! Let's go. All right. So this is eleven. This makes twelve. And draw a card here. We're still at 12. This makes 13. This is 14. We do need 16, if I'm not mistaken, in order to pull this off. So one, two, three, four, five, 13, 14, 15. This should be our last one. This is our 16th critter. We have to tap the Clever Conjurer to untap the Halo Fountain. Then we play out the Reckoner Bank Buster. We crew the Reckoner Bank Buster with our squad. How many creatures is that? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Actually, yes. Do I don't have the mana. I've, I messed that up. All right. Well, we're not done yet. Observe. <laughs> we're fine. We're fine. Actually, we're not. We're not fine. We need to draw another Halo Fountain here. I screwed this up badly. Or light of the night that actually could work potentially too. I screwed this. I I can't believe I buff I biffed this. Punt me! Somebody punt me! Yeah, I I, be, I beefed it. We need to untap Halo Fountain one more time. I messed that up. Or actually, I needed to use Halo Fountain to untap both the Clever Conjurer and the Accomplished Alchemist. We're sending it all the life in the world though, so we're gonna be fine. But still, that sucked. If they have another board wipe, we're dead. We're not dead, but we're gonna have to rebuild from scratch, and that's gonna suck really hard. If not, we just win with Halo Fountain next turn. I'm embarrassed and I'm, I'm embarrassed and uh, I'm feeling really silly. I'm feeling very silly. Those are big old oops. All right. They're going to march the, they're going to march the, the fountain. That's fair. I deserve this. 
<laughs> I absolutely deserve this. There's only one Halo phone. We have 36 cards in the library, and we've only seen one so far this game. So that's okay. Let's go ahead and crack the wreck in her bank buster draw card. Revitalize. I like that. That actually kicks off our accomplished alchemist quite nicely and draws us deeper into our deck. So that's good. I'll take it. All right. So now they buffed the team, but we're still at 42 life. I had it last game. I had the, uh, the last turn. I, I screwed up. I just... Yeah, I just wrecked it. All right, we need to draw into a Halo Fountain this turn, no matter what happens. We just need to get a Halo Fountain. If we can get a Halo Fountain, we're golden. If we can't, we're dead. Well... Let's see. This is 11, 12, 13, 14. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, sixteen. Fifteen directly at one's face. Let's go for the beatdown plan. This doesn't really have any business working, but when you're desperate, you do desperate things. So they have 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 damage represented in the air. That said, if they can gain 20 life, which is far and away uh, from impossible, very, very far from impossible in the angel deck. If they can gain 20 life, I believe we're dead. If not, I think we got this, even with like a weird janky and I, I misfire again. I misclicked. I, I well, not misclicked. I miscalculated my my triggers and my sequences um, on that turn. Otherwise, we had it. I mean, we absolutely had it. So that was the biggest punt of all time that I am going to publish live on YouTube. Biggest punt of all time. And I'm going to own it. I'm going to own it up. I'm going to let everybody see it. It happened. And miraculously, despite that, we might actually win this game somehow. You shall see. All right, we got 30 cards. We need to draw, uh, preferably draw a Halo Fountain. If we can get a Halo Fountain online, we're golden. We just win the game. If we don't, eh, we're kind of sunk. They're going to touch my spirit realm. I don't like when my spirit realm gets touched. Knock it off, opponent. Actually, next turn, if they don't gain life here, which they can't this turn anymore. Do we just win off a light up the night? I think we do. You're going to have to clever conjure. That's actually a smart. That's a smart choice. I think we just light up the night their face and call it a day. Wait, check me if I'm wrong here, but you know, they can't afford to swing. So if we QQ it, we got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. X equals nine directly to the face. Light up the night brings it home. All right. Despite the punt, we pulled it off. Woo. Oh, that felt good. Let's move on to the next game. <laughs> this hand is looking keepable. I wish we had a third land, but I... I mean, we've got all of our combo pieces, and the Prosperous Innkeeper can help uh, with the treasure token. So, if we can get the Accomplished Alchemist... If we can hit our third land drop, get the Accomplished Alchemist out on three with the help of the Prosperous Innkeeper, we're going to be in a really good shape. If we can't hit that third land drop, it's going to be pretty... Pretty rough, uh, pretty rough sailing, choppy waters. It would be unpleasant to say the least. Epicure, revitalize. That does help us draw. I like that. You can help us hit that la hit that uh, third land drop. We're gonna hang out of the treasure because we need it for the to get the accomplished alchemist online quickly. 
Because the Accomplished Alchemist does a couple things for us. Um, not the least of which is just ramp us further, which is nice. We, de we need that. All right, we're going to revitalize here to draw deeper into a land. Excellent. And that's going to be the Lunark Veteran. Okay, not the turn we wanted, but I think that might have been the turn we needed. So we're going to be just fine. <clears throat> and was that overly dramatic? Oh, yeah, it was. It wasn't the turn we wanted, but it was the turn we needed. In a world where the turns are always awkward and the voiceovers are questionable at best. A Valdaran Epicure is getting touched by an opponent who really wants to cast an Obnixilus the Adversary. Unfortunately, his opponent has lots and lots of life gain, so he just doesn't care. All right, sweet, sweet. And we hit the land drop and it's a blue, so we can actually hit the Clever Conjurer. Let's go, Accomplished Alchemist on the, on the field. Accomplished Alchemist plus Lunark Veteran and Prosperous Innkeeper, pretty tasty. So, Obdix, do your thing, man. <clears throat> you do you, boo. <clears throat> Good old Bobby Nix. And they got the fancy one, too. They invested in the fancy artwork for Obnixilis. Man, they really were all in on that card, which, I mean, I can appreciate. No, I'm just going to take the life. That's fine. Again, like I said in the previous game, I don't really care what my life total is as long as it's not zero. Um, boom, baby. Let's play out the clever conjurer. I feel like that was a good use for our treasure token. So now we have the full combo assembled. It's that simple. If our opponent has board, well, I mean, it's it, this deck is just a situation where if our opponent has a board wipe, we lose. It's that easy. But, well, I mean, well, actually, we got hit by two board wipes that last game. We pulled it out. So, and I punted really hard. But anyway, uh, all right, they're going to kamikaze the treasure goblin. That's fine by me. I'm going to block it with the accomplished alchemist because we have two of them. If they do have like a royal eruption or something to follow it up with. Um, yeah, like a burn. Well, actually, they're probably not running burn on the house in there because it would kill their own Obnixilis, but they are running Meat Hook Massacre. Fortunately for us, one of our accomplished alchemists survives, but losing the Clever Conjurer does really suck here. It does. It surely, surely does. All right. We're almost doing the thing. We're almost doing the thing. Don't kill my clever conjurer. Don't you dare. Or don't destroy my halo fountain. It is an artifact after all. Voltage surge on my conjurer. Man. This deck runs like four pieces of removal. How do they have all of it? <laughs> and by four pieces, I mean like four cards. Like they're, they're like four voltage surge and a handful of meat hook massacres. And that's like it. That's that's all they're running in the way of removal. And we, they're hitting all of it. I mean, to be fair, I don't know the version that this person is running, but that is, that's, I mean, that's what I've seen of this deck. All right. I'm just gonna cycle this. We just need to work into some action here. It's not what I had in mind. Most definitely not what I had in mind. You're gonna create a citizen. We're not gaining as much life as I would like for obvious reasons here. Um, Blood Tide Arbiter with Kiki Jiki, pretty much all of our stuff is dead now. Because Kiki Jiki creates a copy of the Blood Tide Harvester, they get a second blood token. The uh, Blood Tide Harvester can then tap and give anything minus four, minus four. Next turn, they're going to get a sixth or uh, a third blood token, so they can give anything minus six, minus six. And I believe this deck uh, has met its match, unfortunately, in Rakdos Sacrifice. But that's okay. The Anvil, the Anvil decks are powerful. There's no question about it. So, like. I don't mind losing to one of the best. It's all good. 
And our opponent has had a beautiful setup. So, like, they just hit exactly what they needed at every point of the curve. Another clever conjurer is kind of exactly what we needed there as well, but it's not going to be enough, I don't think. Yeah, because they got double bobbies, Bloodhead Harvester. Yeah, there's no way we're dead here. We are most assuredly dead. Which is unfortunate. It's truly unfortunate. Not necessarily how I want it in this video, but that's okay. It's all good. These things happen. It might take them another two, three minutes to beat us, but I mean, let's play it out. But they've got double bobs hitting us for four each turn. Actually, no, it's not going to take us take them another five minutes. It's gonna it's gonna be over pretty fast. In any event, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I appreciate it very, very much, and I look forward to catching you on the next one. Please don't hesitate. If you enjoyed this deck tech or would like to see more like it, please leave a comment below. I would appreciate that very, very much. And uh, yeah, stay classy, be excellent to each other, and uh, know that I appreciate you. All right, uh, yeah, this is this is kind of all she wrote here, um, but yeah, yuck. Also, you can catch me on Twitch, twitchtv hamhawks 42 I'd love to see you out there in my live stream. It is a blast of a time, much like my head just—it's a blast. Boom. Um, but yeah. I'd love to see you out there. I stream Monday through Friday, starting at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I go till about 11 most days. So I'd love to see you out there. We have fun, play weird janky brews, and uh, yeah, stay classy. I'll catch you on the next one.